Hello my friends, welcome to Home and Garden. So today I am actually preparing this raised bed garden and I am going to plant Chrysalmus zucchini and also adding to that I'm gonna add the zinnia next to it. This is actually the candy cane zinnia and also I am going to collect all the baby hellebores that we seed from last year and now they grow and I think they're about two to three inches now so I have to collect all that baby hellebores and move it in the other side of my yard so they don't have to grow everything in one side and also just to organize them and I also going to put some baby hellebores in some of the pots so I could have some more hellebores to add it to my other garden on the other side and so I can combine them with the other shade loving plants and that's what we're gonna do today so join me and let's start the planting so first I am going to wet the soil this is actually compost dirt and I am just trying to wet first at least before I put the seeds of the zucchini and also the zinnia so this planter here this raised bed in here it's located to the side of my backyard garden and also it's receiving a lot of sun in here so this is a good place and I've tried to plant some zucchini in here already and I have a successful one I have a lot of fruit to pick and the zinnia is a new to add it on this raised bed because I never tried to plant here I just sow them directly on the ground and so hopefully they'll survive on this planter so I'm just gonna add the zinnia on the back side of this raised bed and then add the zucchini on the front side so here's the seeds It's really tiny. So I'm just putting like about two seeds of this thing per hole so I'm just adding it there and hopefully they grow properly Okay, I'm ready to put all this zucchini and I am just going to put like one seed on each hole and hopefully they grow and shoot for a few weeks. So I just finished planting all the zucchini and also the zinnia seeds on the side of the raised bed garden on the side of my house, uh, backyard still. But here I am now sitting in this raised bed garden next to the driveway. And again, this is my front yard. And I am going to collect and show you how I propagate all the hellebores that I have. This is all the hellebores. The majority of my hellebores, they are planted here on the front yard and I'm going to give you some tips on how to propagate them. I propagate them by their seeds and also uh, collecting all the seedlings that they dropped from last year. So they grow, this is like about uh, about two to three inches now so this is good to go for us to remove them from the ground and 
I can just add them. I am going to collect and add them in this feed box. So, um, and then I'm just going to wait until they maybe mature and then transplant or add it to the other pots. And let me start and show you how I collect all the seeds. So let me show you how to collect all the baby seedlings of the halivores and also collect the seeds. I think they are ready now so I can show it to you and how they look like. This tiny plant, they're not weeds, but this is the baby hellebore. So that's what we're going to collect. They also planted and grow on that side and more in here. And so let's start and collect them. Let me show you how to collect this. Actually, you can use a little shovel if you want to and loosen a little bit this soil or actually here i got mulch or you can just pull them just to make sure you're not pulling like on the top of the leaves like this you need to get the force put your hands like almost touching the dirt and then wiggle a little bit to get all the roots you see and all of this you have to do that technique some of them you're not going to be successfully getting all the roots so like this one i did the same technique that i did to this but then sometimes the roots are really tight or there's like something mulch that's holding it on the roots so sometimes you pull it and then it's just gonna break so here let me show you again let me look just a tiny roots and that should be fine That's good. And we have to actually collect all of this. And I have to check each bundle of this halivores, which is a lot, all the way to that side of my driveway. So this is not going to be happening. And I can finish all of this in one day. At least uh, only one bundle that I'm just going to check. And just to show it to you and how I collect all these baby seedlings. Okay, so let me show you what this hellebore seeds look like. So there should be, like this is the seed buds. This is already the old flower. So when the flowers are new, they're still pink. And then they turn green. And then later on, they will turn brown like this. So it means they're about to, you know, dried up like this. And I need to deadhead them. So anyway, just for me to show to you, I'm just going to open this one seed buds so that you'll see what the hellebore seeds look like. So this seed is not ready yet because they're still young and they're still white. The seeds should turn black and it should not be like this. So this one is still young, but I just want to show you for my demonstration on this video today. I'm showing you this seed for you to know. So again, this is what the seeds look like for this hellebore. So let me also show you, this is actually one of the bundle of the hellebores closer to the driveway. I collect this and here, this flower buds. There are full of seeds on it. So let me show you that this one, actually, I just want to show you how much I collect on this flower. So here, because when they mature, they are ready to drop their seeds on the ground, the buds gonna open like this. And you can see all this tiny seeds inside, that's the hell of our seeds. So here, all I have to do is put the flower upside down, and this is, what the mature seeds look like so from this one flower and the seed buds that's what the seeds that i collect so this one this is actually good to go and you can plant them so you can also store them and plant them for next year but for me i can collect them if i want to but i just i have more successful for them to just drop it on the ground and then I collect the seedlings so it's easier for me. 
Do you want to know how much seedlings I collect in the front yard? This is how much I collect. Can you see all of that? That's the hellebore seedlings. So I just put them here temporarily and I am going to put them once they are mature and then I'll transplant them on the other side of my garden. So that's how I collect seedlings. You can again collect all the seeds and store them and then plant them in one area. But for me, I just let them drop their seeds and let them do and grow on one area and I just collect them. You just need to be patient when you're collecting them because they will grow all over on the area where the mother hellebore, the mother plant will grow. So you just need to go around and check them out and collect them. So one more tip for me to tell you is to water your seedlings at least once a day. Do not put them also on the direct sign. Just leave them on the side of your house and at least they receive a little bit of the sunlight but not direct sun. Okay, my friends, I hope you remember all the tips on how to collect seeds from the hellebores and also how to take care of all the seedlings of the hellebores. I will also give you an update video about my zucchini and also the zinnia that I plant on the raised bed. So please hit your notification bell and you will be notified for my new videos. And also, you can leave a comment so I can read your beautiful comments. I will see you on my next vlog. You take care.